Hi guys, welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry, and today we'll be looking at the Color Monkey Smile. Now, this is a calibrator for your monitor. So if you're wanting to take your photos after you've taken pictures and you want to adjust the color and get uh, the correct type of color for the way it looks on your monitor to how it will be printed, this is what you would use. Now, this is a very basic one. It's not doesn't do brightness and I think gamma and a few other things now I just know that it corrects color other models out there have a different thing where you can calibrate the printer as well as well the type of printer you're using and so forth now um, I'll do an unboxing and a bit of smart editing and uh, I'll show you from the unboxing all the way to calibrating it on uh, my monitor. Now I've got two monitors as you can see an Apple cinema display back there I've got two of them plus I've got my 17 inch MacBook Pro and I'll be just calibrating one monitor to show you how it all works now I haven't seen what's in here okay so this is sort of an off-the-cuff unboxing what you're gonna see is what I'm gonna see so hopefully we can do this right we're gonna get one shot at it aren't we at least that unboxing it like this so here you goes all right, so there's nothing. Okay, how'd you get? Okay, so we've got some. That's the box. There's nothing else in there, and you'll get a CD here, and it's I'm assuming the software that's on here it does work on Mac and Windows. Don't know about Ubuntu or any of that other stuff, but um, and just a booklet in here gives you some information on how to set it all up and how to place it. So again, I'll go through that and. We'll, uh, we'll get back in the edit, so and I'll show you how it's done. Now, okay, that's all right, just stop moisture. And here it is, this is it. It's pretty simple. Uh, it seems it sits over the top of your monitor and USB plug here. Okay, don't know what this is, but um, maybe just a wait. I'll find out, I'll let you know in just a moment and USB plug and this simply just sits over the monitor so I'll be back when I've got it all set up and we'll see how it goes so that's basically what was in the box okay okay hi guys now um, we're doing a screen capture and this is my desktop that you can see here I've got I've put in the disk and it's loaded up the color monkey smile software so I'm going to double click this and it's going to start now I'll just load this up so we double click that double click that again that file and there's the installer there now I am doing this on a Mac I'm assuming on a Windows machine or any other machine it will be similar so just basically run through the installer now um, continue yes continue again yes agree and you should read terms and conditions um, and continue and make sure that you put in the right location I want it to my main drive there and install pretty much just oh yes and put in our password I'll just pop that in okay and continue installation now I won't hit restart because if I do uh, it'll I'm doing a screen capture at the moment so I'm just gonna stop the screen capture restart the machine and hopefully everything should be loaded I'll see you in just a moment okay guys now we're back and it's already been installed so what I'm gonna do is just run through in activating the application we'll bring that up as you can see there color monkey smile click on that and it should load up all right now I'm gonna edit in and out I'm also recording on the 5d mark 3 so I'll be going in between screen capture to the 5D Mark III showing on the outside. So it's saying that it's detected multiple displays on the left and the right. On the left I've got another cinema display, 27 inch, and on the right I have the uh, Apple 17 inch MacBook Pro. Also just wanted to point out these uh, bottom here icons and what they all mean. Uh, obviously home means where we are now before we begin calibration um, this question mark here if you click on that it brings up the website for any questions you might have I'll just bring this over so you can see so that's the full screen that it's opened up here on one of my other monitors 
and I guess it probably lets you do firmware update on whatever else you need. I mean, some people might not even have a CD to be able to put in their drive. Some Macs don't come with it now, MacBooks. Okay, and the next one here is, I think this one's to register. Yeah, oh, well, it comes up as you can see there on the screen. Um, for registering, now register later. I don't really care. Um, I will do that because it obviously gives you a whole year of support, so it's worth it. Why not? And this is your settings. We can click on this one. Um, here you can set it so it can remind you uh, to redo the process uh, every week, two weeks, every month, or never. So I think every month is a, actually every two weeks. Actually, every month. Every month is good enough for me. Um, automatically check for software updates. Yes, of course. And it sort of picked my displays. It's got the uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt displays here. And for the middle one, it's uh, selected LED instead of standard, which would be the MacBook Pro. Well, it says recommended anyway, so I'll leave it at that. It's pretty good. And then the last option here is, I guess, to close, which is to quit. We'll click start. So it's saying each display has to be calibrated individually. We'll just do the one, for example, here to show you guys just right in the middle that you can see the screen on. Okay, so now it's saying to install or to place over on the screen the uh, Color Monkey device that they've given me. Now, just turn on the lights. Okay, guys, so now that you can see in front, I have the... Uh, dongle here the device now this thing at the back here is a counterweight and you adjust it according to how long it needs to be and it goes on behind the actual monitor and then this needs to sit over the top there where it's flashing so I'll just throw this over so just bear with me <laughs> so we're a bit high here there we go got to try and reach around there we go got it now it has to sit flush, okay? So if you can bounce it around with your finger like that, that means it's not sitting flush. So um, my monitor tilts. So being able to make it tilt helps a lot. If yours does, that'll be a great advantage. If it doesn't, you're gonna sort of have to adjust it with a counterweight and try and get it as best as you can to sit flush. So when I tap it with my finger, there is no bounce anywhere. So it's sitting nice and flush. Once that's happening, then you can click begin and it pretty much just runs itself I'm assuming so and just got a little bit of dust there on the screen so let me just get a tissue here and wipe that away and you make sure that your screen is nice and clean that you wiped it down there's no dust or anything sort of foreign uh, when it's doing this test so you can get the most truest uh, calibration that you can. So I'll let this run. I might forward it and make it a bit fast so I can finish, finish during the editing process. So here we go. Okay, so it's uh, been calibrated now. It's saying congratulations, your display is now calibrated. Please remove the device from your display. Uh, press the before and after buttons to view your results. So that's what it looked like before and after. There's not really much, is there, to it? <laughs> well, I guess I had a pretty closely calibrated. <laughs> now... I will do the other monitor, uh, the other monitor, and also my MacBook Pro, and hopefully there'll be more of a difference there. But look, maybe I did have it pretty well calibrated. If you have any questions regarding this 
please post them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, sorry I did my best. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be throwing up some more cool videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.